is a lot bigger than Greek life. A lot of times, Greeks are really put in the spotlight. Real bystander behavior, it's everywhere. Being silent is just as guilty as participating in the actions that are hurting the person. And I remember sitting there in that moment and, you know, tears in my eyes. Peer pressure is so powerful that it can paralyze you. I was a victim of like an abusive situation. And as a bystander, I remember sitting there thinking, please shut up. And I was a victim, but I was also a bystander because I didn't stand up and say, you know, you can't tell me what to do. In this battle between people who want to haze and people who don't want to haze. Yeah. Being gay, I felt like crap the entire game and nobody said anything. Um, don't we all have values, core beliefs? You don't have to stand there and tolerate being a bystander. You stand up and say what you believe in. One person with courage can really make a difference. Sweet, I'm excited. Sweet, yeah, sweet indeed. There's no child of the prince long. the past couple weeks I've really started to understand what bystander behavior is and how it's prevalent everywhere and um, we do have these values and um, you know what are we to show for it if we don't actually practice these values and put it into effect. This is a lot bigger than Greek life. This, the, These examples we're going to talk about are going to contribute to all the all aspects of our lives. So I mean I look at this as, a, as an opportunity to grow I hope that I can have an influence on people who are afraid to speak up because I know the pain that can come from people who are bystanders. So. What is bystander behavior? Google bystander effect and you'll find a fascinating universe of psychology, commentary, and even video clips describing how being in a group influences our behavior. This clip from a 1960s episode of the TV series Candid Camera is a really dramatic example of how one person can be influenced by the action of a crowd. Nice of course, inaction can also be a product of the dynamics of group behavior. We see plenty of examples of this in the news. And then there's this famous example of group inaction from the entertainment world. Yeah, right <laughs> Give me a wallet. Come on, let's get something to eat here in Sticksville. All right. Hold it right there. What? You're under arrest. Under arrest? What for? The law requires you to help or assist anyone in danger as long as it's reasonable to do so. I never heard of that. It's new. It's called the Good Samaritan Law. Before my initiation, our chapter had some traditions. Um, and so we were forced to sit outside of the chapter house, um, you know, with our legs folded in, back straight. Um, and we would be brought in three at a time. And, um, and, and I remember sitting there in that moment and, you know, tears in my eyes because we'd been sitting there for two hours. And, um, and you know, and... And one woman tried to stand up and say, hey, this hurts. Uh, you know, I'm not doing this. We're supposed to be your, you know, you're supposed to be my sister. And as a bystander, I remember sitting there thinking, please shut up. I think hazing makes, it's kind of makes a lot of people feel like and think that if you go through it as a pledge class, you are, um, you guys have become closer or you, be, you become better brothers or better sisters or a better member it'll make you stronger it builds character you know it toughens you up you know it weeds out the weak like that's that's how my chapter kind of views it as you know can't like i understand that concept and i'm all about having our new members be educated and feel as passionate as we do um being here today for our chapters can't that be initiated through a different aspect what just happened right there um, was she a bystander no no <sighs> She spoke up. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that, but I was like, is that too easy? That's too easy. <laughs> That's as easy as it can get. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Can we put ourselves in a chapter meeting where we have somebody who stands up and says something? What are you, as one of those fellow bystanders, who is thinking while this is going down, like, gosh, I don't like this. This doesn't feel good. You don't say anything, but someone else does. How does that make you feel as one of those bystanders? Makes you raise your hand and yeah, it makes yeah. you yeah. with yeah. Like, You want to stand up and say oh. the same thing. Um, like I was thinking of the movie um, where they, uh, my captain, oh captain, my captain. Does anybody know? Dead poet society. Dead poet society. <laughs> when that you know that one person you know stands up on the desk and that we'll all just follow and stand up on the desk. Captain, my captain, sit down, Mr. Anderson. No warning, Anderson. 
How dare you? Do you hear me? Go oh, captain, my captain. Don't we all have values, core beliefs that we believe in? And for the most part, they're all very similar. So just imagine if we live those out every day. If, uh, what, what would our school look like? What would our, our work environments look like? What would our communities and even the world look like if we could live out those, action, those values through actions every day? What do you think?